Hello again everyone. You left us in the last vlog just coming out of Turley Locks. Why don't you come and join us on our next little trip? And I think you should find it enjoyable. So let's get going. Many many times we've been through Woods Eaves Cutting. I've filmed a few times as well <laughs> but it's always a little bit different we know that there's some slippage at the side there's been a few landslides but we've been told or reliably told we can get through and uh, I, I just uh, a boat's come up so it must be true it's always a bit tight and if you meet anybody you've got to be extremely careful there's a few rocks on that side over there that's my right side there's a few rocks there so you've got to be aware of that but it's wonderful this is the longest and deepest cutting on any canal in Britain and it's absolutely superb never tired of it it's it's an experience that anybody should uh, should try and enjoy by the time the work was starting on Woods Eve's cutting, Telford was a very ill man and was going deaf and was deaf in fact and they were that concerned he had a deputy William Cubitt C-U-B-I-T-T -T, and he was the one who made the decisions on Woods Eve's cutting because Telford at that point wasn't trusted as much so his deputy took over Woods Eve's cutting, uh, it was a huge task, but they thought, or this William Cubitt thought, all the hardcore, everything they take to make this cutting, all, all the what's left, could go and help show up uh, an embankment called Shellmore, because that had collapsed once before. So we thought all this spur rock and everything should should make Shellmore Embankment very, very stable. But disaster was to strike again. And I will talk further about that when we're in the area of that embankment. Very, very atmospheric. Really is. You feel like you're back in time when you come in into all the this narrow cutting. Never fails to amaze. Our first boat coming towards us. It's not too bad here. Looks like a bit of, bit of panicking going on ahead. <laughs> you just have to take your time when you're going past and everything's normally alright Hi All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that I bought. Like we always say, you know, we are here for a long time, but his skills are going past perfect speed and that. 
better than many a private boat owner that certainly was you should never judge or lie about it. we all learn and start at some place There's quite a few narrows scattered about on the network but I think Woods Eve's cutting is the nearest one to looks like you're going through the jungle or the Amazon so remote and just so stunning Quite a few boats that are waited at the bottom just while we got through because it's quite tight here so yes we'll have to breathe in or somebody will <laughs> Very shallow here so we just got a few bits and pieces on the propeller so I reverse it now and then to just clear it. Yes I can start to feel rain yes. As expected, we're starting to get a little bit of rain. Well, we're nearly out now, aren't we? How many times we've been through, and so most times we don't get any, and this is we've had three, haven't we? All good fun. <laughs> Not yet, if it's, although if it starts raining hard, yeah, yeah, we're not, uh, I'm not, yeah, the rain's coming, so I have a, a waterproof camera, so I c I'll get that on in a minute, but all the good stuff I will put away until the rain decides to uh, stop. It's no good ruining good gear. All these bridges you see, through Woods Eaves at different heights that's telling you how deep the cuttings are some are quite oh, the height's amazing on some of them but this is one of the smaller ones then again we are coming out of uh, the cutting now and very enjoyable indeed Coming up soon on the left is a 
a place called Goldstone Wharf. There's a very, very popular pub here. Mind you, it doesn't matter how popular they are for us at the moment. <laughs> Keeping well away. I know many go in, but uh, we are staying away for now. It doesn't feel quite right yet. But uh, it has been packed out on many occasions when we've gone past. And there's also a, a little caravan site attached as well. Apart from that, there's nothing nearby. And yet, it's so popular. Well, that's coming up soon. What I talked about previously, the Shellmore embankment, it was a real problem. They were what you call puddling, which is where they, where they stamp all the uh, clay down to make it more stable and waterproof, but it was shifting all the time. Now, for the last time in his life, in March 1834, Telford visited this canal in this area for the first time in two years. He was a bitter man. He was a bitter man because the landowner, all this work at Shepton, which was huge, could have been avoided if he could have gone another way, but a landowner wouldn't let him at Shebden Wood. Wouldn't let him do it. And the reason? He wanted to protect his pheasants. So all this work and expense came about, and failings, because it was for a long time, it failed and failed and failed the embankments. Uh, that was caused because a landowner wanted to keep his pheasants, probably for shooting. Incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Shortly after filming that piece of footage, the rain came tumbling down, and the next thing we had high winds as well. So, priority was protect our cameras, and get to the nearest sheltered mooring we could find. So that's what we did. After seeing all that wind blowing around in the trees and that, I thought it'd be nice to lighten the mood a bit. And here's a little music section, which I hope you enjoy. We hope you enjoyed that little bit of unusual footage and music. Every now and then we try a few experiments and see if they work and we include them in the video. So 
fingers crossed we get a thumbs up from y'all <laughs> this really was a windbreak I've never heard so much roaring as it just increased for the next few days and that on top of that we had heavy rain and that was battering down on the roof for hours and hours on end well that's boating as long as you uh, get in a nice place and uh, feel safe and secure then that's it so that's what we did anyway now over to Bernadette if you enjoyed our vlog why don't you subscribe and then you'll see our new videos as they come out you can like them comment on them we love the comments and share it with others we'd also both like to thank you for taking the time to watch our videos but that's it for now and we'll see you in the next one bye